Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. I just finished reading Green Lanterns issue 40. It's uh, featuring two Green Lanterns I'm not familiar with. They're newish. I'm sure everybody listening probably knows who they are, but I've been out of the comics game for a while, so I'm still kind of getting my feet. Well, it's Jessica Cruz and a guy named Simon, and they're fighting a flood initially, and they save a kitten. And the talking points from the whatever broadcast is in the talking bubbles is a little cheesy. I'm not gonna lie, but it does does give you some background you know you got your solid light emerald light constructs and they're inspiring and inspired by aid workers from local law enforcement and disaster management as well as volunteers from around the world that's kind of cheesy but they save a kitten and some randos and then they're cooling off and the bull tear comes up talks to simon he apparently had been on a date with a girl that she called the night pilot bulleteer's sort of friends with her but apparently the night pilot's gone missing and simon calls up to the watchtower and gets cyborg working on locating this person that's been missing for about a week and they figure out graviton particles or whatever that are traced to other missing superheroes and they're all minor leagues like a bunch of minor leaguers the bearer of bad news the gripper big thunder the night lighter mind grabber man the night pilot a couple others that they don't bother to name but the thing they all have in common is caper which is a hookup app for superheroes and which is an interesting idea it's sort of like the uh murder list i mean craigslist of um or tinder of the superhero community which seems really reckless if you are a superhero you should be doing everything you can to protect your secret identity but they're all using this on their phone apparently well they go to the headquarters of the app designers which is in a garage in what looks like california and they find somebody that's apparently able to do some shielding and make illusions. And they corner this individual and it turns out to be Scraps from the Omega Men. That's a character that's really tertiary. I haven't seen that Omega Men mentioned in a while. We cut over to where night pilot is being held and she's in a cell next to bear of bad news and apparently they're being used as workers they're digging up various minerals or whatever depending on the task they're needed for and they show a bunch of people all the missing ones and a few others in cells so yeah it looks like uh, somebody's collecting superheroes for manual labor and what other nefarious things are going on it's an interesting story uh the art's okay i'm not a huge fan of the art style but it's not bad uh the writer was tim seeley and pencils by barnaby bagenda inks by mick gray colorist was ulysses arola and letterer dave sharp so not bad uh the art's pretty good some of the faces aren't quite as detailed as i would like but overall a pretty good book uh my main complaint would be the use overuse of current slang because that's all outdated within a few months, so it's usually behind the times. So, you know, everybody's using the words chill, and there's references to Rihanna, and all that stuff gets dated very quickly. Musicians come and go very quickly in the public eye in sort of slang terms. So I, I would prefer they cut that, but that's sort of... I don't think a lot of writers these days can do any different. But overall, it was a, it was a pretty fun book. It's an interesting story concept. Sort of plays on, like, the Craigslist killer theme. And I am interested to see where... They go with the story, so I'm going to pick up part two, and hopefully it'll be good. So far, this one was pretty good. I don't seem to be worth three bucks. I don't feel too ripped off. There is a preview at the end for the Immortal Men, which, eh, I'm not too impressed with. And it looks like it's a story uh, about a team against Vandal Savage. I'm not entirely sure. And it didn't look that good, and most of the characters are kind of nobodies. And how can you have a group called the Immortal Men, and you don't even have Resurrection Man in there? So I don't know about that. Some of the other ones look pretty good. New Challengers might be good damage i th i've did a review on that one already but i'll probably pick up immortal men and terrifics and see how those are but green lantern is uh is a recommend i thought it was pretty good a few minor complaints but nothing serious it was good pacing lots of action and there's quite a lot of dialogue in here some of which i thought was a little unnecessary but that seems to be the way things are these days but i would definitely give this a pretty decent recommend i thought it was a good book worth checking out especially if you're on the new rack and you're looking for something new to read and like I said, I'm not familiar with either of these Green Lantern characters, but they both seem pretty interesting. So that'll do it for this one. As always, thanks for listening, and we hope to see you on the next episode.